And what he did, sorry for all the squiggles here, but what he did most importantly was go into a sea which is named for him, the Ross Sea, here, which is sort of over the New Zealand, Australia side of Antarctica, where we're, we're up here, here. Um, and what he found was big spaces of open water. And this was uh, called Polinia, but he didn't call them that. And uh, this is then was the sort of gateway then, like if you like, for the men of the heroic age uh, to try and find a track up to the South Pole, which is here. So they could get in pretty close here, as opposed to starting out here. And it's rather a long track down there, isn't it? You've all been taking photographs of Iceberg. This is uh, undoubtedly the first one on a ship called the Challenger in 1874. And as you see, it's, um, um, he didn't, they didn't cover the camera when they were in the Zodiacs. Um, there were various other um, devious uh, ways of trying to suggest that they were the first to land in Antarctica. This one was on the 24th of January, 1895. Uh, uh, people who were on a ship confusingly called the Antarctic. And it was an um, expedition sponsored by a, a, a whaling entrepreneur called Sven Foyne who revolutionized the catching of whales, but that, I don't want to go into that at the moment. But what happened here was, um, the guy who did this sketch, this man here, a fellow called Borchgevink, who was half Norwegian and half English, there's nothing wrong with that, but there was something wrong with where he carried on, and he, he sketched um, himself jumping or first. Uh, then there was a captain of the ship uh, who said that he jumped out in order to steady the ship, steady the boat for the others. Now, I don't give him any marks because uh, if you are a captain, you should be remain on your ship. Yeah. And then there was a New Zealand recruit called Tunsaman. So two of them, of the three, who claimed must have been liars. And it's all sorted now because we know that at least uh, Davis in 1821 was before them. Anyway, so just don't believe everything everybody says. Uh, various other...